Hey guys, welcome to this new video and in this video we will going to take a look how we can add a new order to the hybrid fabric network. So for this demonstration, I am going to use the latest version of hybrid fabric which supports the channel participation API as well as you don't need the system channel in order to start the network. So let's uh, quickly start the fabric samples example. So for this demonstration, I am going to use the test network repository uh, let me show you that here and here i have deleted all the extra folders that were not required and kept only the necessary ones so this is the test network which contains all the folders all the files that are required in this demonstration and as well as we have one other folder which is the chain code inside this we have our fabca chain code so let's quickly start our test network so let me move to the terminal and let me move to this folder which is fabric samples test network. So now let's quickly start our fabric network. So for this I am going to run the script which is network up and then create channel. So we are going to create a channel application which is my channel. Let's hit enter. So it is going to create the certificates and then it is going to create the channel and that channel is going to join by the order and then the peers as well. So here yeah, you can see since this uh, example is using the channel participation API enabled. So here yeah, we can see that order has joined this channel using this command which is OSN. So OSN stand for ordering service node or using this OSN admin tool. Uh, we basically join the channel and then uh, peers join the channel. You can see here. And similarly, that the other peer also joined the channel. So now uh, the channel creation part is done. Now we can just quickly deploy our chain code as well. So for the command to deploy the chain code is network.sh and then deploy cc. And here I am giving the chain code name as basic using this ccn flag which is chain code name then ccp which is the chain code path so my chain code is one directory here. and this is my uh, path of the chain code and then this is the language which is ccl lang uh, and my chain code is in co language so that i am specifying here let's hit enter so the chain code installing and now it is approved by the organization one. Okay, so the chain code has been installed successfully. Now I can clear the terminal. And now let's export some environment from variables in order to uh, in order to invoke the chain code. So let me put the environment variables here. And basically these environment variables are pointing to my peer 0 of op 1. And now let me just clear up them and I can just simply invoke the chain code using this command which is peer chain code invoke then the channel name and then the ordering service endpoint. And here we are giving the host override name, ELS host override name. And then uh, these are some flags and uh, uh, certificates for the TLS and uh, here I am going to call this function which is create part of the chain code passing these some default values let's hit enter so we can see that the invoke was successful we got the status as 200 and now uh, let's do docker compose docker ps as well in order to see what containers we actually have here so let me just uh, do this thing let me do docker ps and then grab for order and here you can see we have uh, we got two containers the first container the one of the containers only for the ordering mode and the second one is the uh, container that is uh, used by the user the CA. So we have two containers and one is only for the this one uh, ordering service. 
So now let's quickly add one another node, uh, basically an ordering node, and then we will be going to do the next step of that, which is to add it to the consenter list so that it can become the leader node as well. So let me clear the terminal. So now let's generate the certificate for our new order. And for that, I have already created one script and uh, I'm going to execute that script. But before that, let me show you that script here as well. So that script is present inside this test network and inside here in this uh, organization directory and inside this fabric CA, we have one script which is order.sh. And basically, this script is going to register the uh, generate the certificate for our order two. And uh, let's execute the script. So it has generated a certificate for the order two. We can verify it here. So if I just go to this order automation and here inside this orders you can see that we have one under that here which is for order two dot example dot com and here we have the certificate for the order two now after that we can just uh, quickly create the docker container for this order two and for that as well i have already created the yaml file for the docker so let me show you that here as well. So that file is present inside this Docker directory. And here we can see order.yaml. And uh, one more thing that I want to highlight here in this Docker file. So you can see that the bootstrap method right now is none because we are not going to use the Genesis block in order to bootstrap this order because we are going to use the Gen participation API. And uh, we don't require the system general as well. Our peer is our order is directly going to join the application channel. And here also you can see this flag which is channel participation enabled equal to true, which means that uh, we are going to use the channel participation API. So now let me just quickly start this Docker container. And that uh, that I can do here. Let me just stick this terminal into two half and here I can just to docker compose up and I'm not doing this in the detached mode because I want to show you the logs here as well. Okay, let me clear this side. So here we can see let me zoom this. So here we can see that our order has started. We can see here and now it is ready to accept the request and these are the configuration that this order is currently using these are all those configuration and you can see um, the channel participation is enabled now uh, let's go to the next step so next so now uh, let's uh, make our this new order to join the channel using the osn CLI with an admin CLI. But before doing that, we need to have some environment variables because uh, this CLI, OSN CLI, when we join the channel, it requires some flags, some certificates. So let's expose those certificates using the environment variables. Here I have exported this order admin TLS sign sir, which is pointing to the sign cert of the order to and as well as i have pointed the private key as well i have exposed the private key as well and let me take and now uh, let me just make it a bit smaller yes this seems fine now let's do one now let's uh, join the channel so let me put up the command here so this is the command uh, which is going to join this uh, order to the channel and here you can see that we are the command is osn admin channel join and then we are passing the channel as my channel and here we are specifying the config block so our config block basically 
sits inside this directory which is channel artifact and here I have to give the host so my host for the new order that I want to make it join to this channel is on this port which is 8053 and then I'm giving the CA file and then the client sir and the client private key as well let's hit enter so here you can see right now the status is in onboarding phase but as soon as uh, we add it to the consent the status is going to be changed and here as well on this side let me just zoom in so here you can see that it basically got the blocks as well you can see it got, it got all the blocks that were there in this channel and it uh, got all the data here as well and uh, you can just take your time and uh, go through all these logs uh, these logs are uh, very interesting logs and you will get some uh, better insights on how this all these things are working so right now this order has joined this uh, channel but it is right now not in the consenter list uh, and it will not be able to um, be a leader uh, in the future it is always be going to a follower but we don't want this we want this order node to to participate in the elections as well so let's uh, let me do one more thing let me just split this and here let me run the logs for the docker uh, for order one as well so here you can see these are the logs for the order now let me just clear this and now we are going to basically update the channel and inside the channel we are going to add the certificates of this new order as well as the endpoint of that so for this uh, let me put some commands so now let's quickly fetch the config block as well so for that i'm going to create one directory first and inside this directory i'm going to keep all the artifacts that are required in this process and let me just put up the command so this command is going to uh, get the config block and put inside this directory at this location let's hit enter and we have the config block inside this directory which is order here you can see so now let's decode this config block as well So basically we are going to decode the config block and extract some part of that config block inside this file which is config.json let's hit enter and now let me uh, open the vs code as well and show you that file so that file is present inside this uh, directory which is order and here you can see we have uh, details in the json and the detail that i want to show you here is that uh, somewhere here so somewhere we have an order section order and let me scroll down yeah. so here you can see that at line 502 we have the order section started and if we scroll down somewhere you will find the consenter list as well so here you can see the consenter list and right now inside this consenter list we have only this order which is uh, order.example.com and we want to add our new order which is order2.example.com to this consenter list and then apply to the channel so now let's move to the next step so let's quickly grab the certificates of the order two, and then we can simply run this command which is going to create a json file that has these certificate in the base64 encoded form let's hit enter let's see this file which is order 2json that got just now created this is that file and let me just format it so here you can see the client certificate as well as the host and the port all these details you can see here and now let's merge this file uh, and create a new file out of it 
So this is the command which is going to merge this file which is uh, order2.json with the config.json and then as a result of this it is going to create a new file which is modified config.json. Let's hit enter and let's see this file as well. So here this is the file which got created modified config.json and here if I search for a consenter consenter here you can see that we have the order to as well added here and now uh, we have to compute the delta between this file and well as well as the original file and then apply the update to the channel. So let me just clear up this and now let's encode this config.json file back to the config.pv format. So now it is in portable format and let's uh, convert the modified config.json to the portable format. Let's hit enter. So now we have two portable format and we are going to basically get compute the delta between these two and then apply it to the channel. So now let me just put up the command and we see this command is going to compute the delta between this original one which does not have uh, the or order to the consenter and the updated one has the order to the consenter added. And the output is going to be stored in this file, which is config update.pd. Let's hit enter. And now, what we can do is we can just simply decode this output uh, to the JSON file. So basically, the output is going to be stored in this file, which is config update.json. And basically, we are just decoding this in uh, this protocol format that we just generated in the last step and converting it to JSON format. Let's hit enter. And let's see this as well. So the one that code generated is this one, config update.json. And it has the a delta basically. So delta was this part. So it has all the delta details, nothing much. And now let's add some headers to it and then we can submit this transition. So let me quickly add some headers to it. And the result is stored in this new file, which is config update in envelope.json. And now we can simply encode this file to the protocol format. Let's hit enter. So now this uh, update is stored in this file, which is config update in envelope. And now let's quickly export some environment variable before signing up the transaction. So let's export some environment variables and these variables are basically the certificates of the order that are pointed towards the order. Let's hit enter. Let me clear up the screen now. And now finally we can basically update the channel. So this is the command which is going to update the channel. And basically here we are defining the PS channel update and then we are passing our config block. Basically this has all the details. And then the channel name, and then the or no, basically the order service endpoint. Let's hit enter. So here we can see that the submit update was submitted successfully. And here on the left and right side, we can see that something is going on. So right now, let's expand this one, which is the logs for the order two. And here we can see. That the update was successful. You can see, we can see that this node has become the follower, node to have become the follower, and then now it can participate in uh, elections as well. Uh, those leader and follower elections, and uh, uh, it can it, it can be a leader sometime as well, depending on the uh, requirement, depending on the consensus mechanism. It can be it can take part in the elections as well. But before before that, like before uh, doing all this channel update process, when we just simply add it, uh, when this when this order not simply joined the channel at that time, it was just a follower. It could never be a leader at that time. But uh, with this channel update process, it can take part in the uh, elections as well. So that's all for this video now. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any doubts or any queries. Feel free to drop them into the comment box and I will see the next one.